hello everyone and welcome to another video so a brand that got you the lexus lfa which was one of the finest cars it did manage to get you know grab the eyes of the world with the with the way lexus could make a supercar and then today this is not exactly a supercar but it's still a stunning piece of beauty that lexus after the LFA was uh, stopped in production, they decided to launch another one, which is this, the LC500. Now, this Lexus is based on the new GAL platform, which is the global automotive uh, platform that Lexus has been trying out. And this is the first car from that platform that we made. And also, to give you some of the stats, the engine is from the RCF. So you know how great this engine is going to be. And trust me, the initial thoughts I can tell you is this car is amazing and it's also got four wheels turning so i've gotten this car at this amazing mountain road called as jebel days which is if you are in uae you pretty much know what this road signifies for driving pleasure and that is exactly why i'm going to be testing this car out here on this road anyways let's start checking out the drive after which i'll be also releasing a proper review video but this is just for the sake of fun let me take you a quick walk around this car so um you see the fancy tail lights oh this just love this bit of the car it's just so much fun and then you can actually see the the lfa you know uh, design language being adopted out here and a bit of more newness it's more like a concept car for sure you know but you get on a road driving car and i'm so glad lexus has maintained this design in spite of you know you know not changing it any any like you know generally when the concept cars are released they would change a few designs here and there but in this they just kept it like that and you get the chrome at the bottom and then again chrome and this is the first time by the way that you know the chrome has looked so good on a car like trust me on that and this is like the headlight and these are the turning lights and that is pretty quirky so it's a two-door coupe but check out the door it's so long and also these uh, side mirrors that protrude pretty much out on the side on the on the car and then the big front look let me show you the big front look in the so if you see the stance of this car like it, it just it is very broad in the front and narrows down in the middle and then again uh, sort of uh, broadens out in the back but oh my god look at that and the 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 very famous lexus grill that you get and these are uh, three led headlights along with more drls at the bottom and the turning lights and it's just so much going on out here so it's just really really nuts and then these are like real vents so just to show you a proper sense of occasion this is how cool the doors are the handles for the doors i'm sorry and check out the lushness the interior is luxurious although it's got two more seats in the back but it's more like a grand tourer so it's more like a two two seater version you know more like but it's just amazing from inside anyways i cannot wait to just you know start showing you all how it drives because that's the most fun bit apart from this luxurious interior so let's hit the road to start with the drive let me put it in the sport plus mode directly i've had a fair bit of experience with this and i can tell you so in the sport plus mode it improves the response of the engine and the throttle and everything just becomes so much more stiffer and the response from the steering becomes sharper and also there is a lot of crackling and a lot of uh, like <laughs> it's just it just starts right from the word go so it, it oh i this engine is a 5 liter v8 engine that produces 471 brake horsepower and nearly 560 newton meters of torque and all of that torque is just converted into oh by the way that's that's another Skoda Octavia, one of my friends who's assisting me, Ronak in the shoot, and also Shivam, 
and they are taking the external shots in his Skoda Octavia. I'm going to be getting a review on that one soon. But oh, this car is so sharp. I mean, though it's long, so I'm sitting right in the middle. There is a long nose and also the engine is in the front. But it's a rear wheel drive and it's just fantastic. <laughs> Whoa, it is insanely loud. I mean, this is a stock exhaust and yet it is super loud. I mean, super, super loud. And this, this car actually has a stiffer suspension setup, which has been improved for handling. And as far as handling is concerned, wow, it's just way too good. It is, oh, I'm speechless for what this car can do. And also, it's got a four wheel steering that comes into action when you put the car in sport plus mode which is why i just i just put the car straight away in the sport plus mode because everything is just so much more there's a sense of occasion and this interior is so lush i mean wow these leather seats ah oh, it's just that this interior the infotainment system is a bit all over the place like it takes a little, little bit used to you know in terms of ergonomics but i don't care i don't care because this is look at the, the the design of this car you know it's one of the fanciest cars and i am not even kidding the moment i've taken this car it's been just one day but the amount of stares i've gotten from people is just bloody mad this thing can instantly go from 0 to 60 in just under 5.5 or 4.4 seconds and that is incredible for a car this big and this size so i was mentioning before i am sitting right in the middle the engine is in the front and the drive is in the back so it's a very well balanced car like oh it, it's it's almost like you know there is no way you can lose grip and i am on this mountain road and this engine is just pelting down and it's also pretty you know easy with the fuel consumption so you can get anywhere between 8 to 10 kilometers which is pretty good for this car i know i am super impressed so the thing is when this car was released the lc 500 which was in 2018 so the concept was actually released in 2016 but the actual car in production came in 2018 and i am so glad that lexus never bothered like you know changing anything from the concept phase and that is so cool because tell me when you see a concept car this good which has which looks like a concept car but it is a road legal car and for that reason i admire and i thank lexus for you know giving us cars like these which are so much more fancy there's so much there's so many lines it's roundish it's it's got the grunt right from the stock exhaust stock exhaust and imagine if you just decat this straight pipe this i cannot imagine it's like a muscle japanese muscle car so you know it's a v8 5 liter engine stick it in the front and rear wheel drive and that's the best recipe and give it to lexus because they would obviously do really well and in terms of the seating it's it's actually a very comfortable car i mean yeah uh, it's it's just a very good so what lexus did was work up on the suspension and make sure that the gen 1 which had the suspension which were a little bit on the softer side and also the steering issues that has been resolved and that oh it also it also fires and it also crackles from the exhaust it's just it's just mad oh, oh, oh. oh. Hell, that is quick i i which is why i just wanted you guys to you know see this car in action and this was the perfect place to you know open up its valves and i'm so glad i got this car out here anyways it's, it's actually a weekend and it's pretty busy out here but i am going to be making a detailed review on this car so make sure you watch that also 
anyways that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if you like this and if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care